who have never met before. And we're talking about a player in Boris Koltsov who hadn't even won a game on this tour this season until yesterday. 96. And now he's in the final. Well, the way it is in this brutal form of knockout sport, if you're going to have 125. a run of a few games, win them all on the same day. And Boris Kortsov's done that to set up this final showdown with Adrian Lewis, who himself has had a very fruitful few days here in Barnsley. In fact, so fruitful, he's managed to bag himself a place in Blackpool, securing his spot at the world match play, regardless of the result of this decider. 140. Correct. That's n job number one done. Job number two is to get your first title in a while. But I'm not going to say that it's a guaranteed title. Because if I was in Boris Koltsov's shoes right now, I'd be thinking, do you know what? 60. I came into this cluster of events thinking, it's just great to be playing darts. I'm in this final. It's tremendous. I've bagged myself £8,000 in prize money minimum which is great for my chances of making the Worlds later in the year. But there's no pressure on him. All the pressure is on Jackpot. Yeah, did reach the final 140. of a late players' championship event last year. He lost it to Dimitri Vandenberg. Victory here will be his first in more than three years. The first leg is not yet 67. won. Of has the chance to break. Double nine. Ooh, right in the corner. <laughs> and he did miss a lot of doubles in that semi-final with Schindler. And he just sensed that maybe he needed to find something quickly in that first leg. And he has. It's a break of throw as well. 100. Yeah, if anybody watched that semi-final over on the other streaming board, 44 darts missed a double between them. Martin Schindler missing his first 20 in that match. And it did the damage really, allowing Koltsov to cruise through despite missing so many himself. 60. Finished the game in pretty good style, didn't he, Koltsov, with a 140 checkout on double 16? Yeah, inexplicable, unexplainable. Just casting my mind back to that match between Lewis and Vandenberg. 140. And Adrian Lewis won the first four legs of that or the last one he played in, he led the match 4-0 and 5-2 before Vandenberg reeled off the last six to beat him. Uh, look, we, we could talk about different narratives, but a question for you, Paul, a player who's been there and won titles and waited and waited for another one to come along. Can there be a mental block in terms of getting back to the winner's circle? And is that cause for optimism for well, Boris Koltsov? From my perspective, Absolutely. Because the finals that I got to after my last title, it was in my mind. Game shot. What's in Adrian's mind is I've just drawn level at 1 1 with an 11 data, so all is good in the world. And it was that good, the leg, that Boris Koltsov couldn't believe it was over and he was addressing the hockey to throw again. But the 96 break back sees Lewis effectively take back control. 140. There may be a lot of people out there watching this final thinking, I don't even know a great deal about Boris Koltsov. 41. I don't even know how good he is. But the thing is, he's played for his country at the World Cup of Darts many times with a few different partners. As an individual, he has won big titles. And the highest 99. level he has really attained in an individual match, we saw a lot of him during lockdown, playing from home. And he had averages well in excess of 59. 110 on more than one occasion. He may need that kind of form for us to win this title. Well, you made the point that he hadn't won a game until yesterday, but there is a caveat that he hasn't played in all of the tournaments. Yeah. And this is a year in which Boris Koltsov wasn't even sure that he would be able to participate in any of the events. So this really is an impressive run for him, all things 93. considered. Can we just talk about one statistic, though, while we still can? And maybe I should just pay Adrian a bit of respect and let him have a go at this one 2, two first, because Tops is beckoning. 82. Hold that thought. Oh. I'm not sure what the pause was about there for Adrian Lewis, but he will return with three darts at the target he's just missed to take 43. the lead for the first time in the final. He knew exactly what he was doing. He just had a little brain freeze Game for shot. a matter of three or four seconds. 
but all is fine. He's now 2-1 up. But we love looking at averages lists. We love looking at stats. But there may not be a more ridiculous forward. stat than this all year. Adrian Lewis is in the top 30 in the averages. 94.38 for the season. It's really good. Really steady. It doesn't Only mean fun. much. But I'll tell you what is funny is that Boris Koltsov is at 164th in the averages list for everybody who's played a player's championship this season. And guess how many players there have been? 167. Oh. I lost the words. Fourth bottom out of all of the players who have played. doesn't matter whether it's one match, three match, or in the case of Boris, he has played... 100. Well, not very many. Yeah, well... It just goes to show, doesn't it, that averages aren't the things that win matches. I was going to say hitting doubles are the things that win matches, made. but the semi-final that he's just played isn't really an example of that. Lewis so weighs in there with a maximum to pile the pressure on this. It's the bull for Boris, 102. and he can't find it. A chance for Lewis to steal a march in the match. 83 remain. 30. Koltsov must take these chances. Game shot. And he is so far taking those chances. He's not going to beat Adrian Lewis with something like 105 average in this final, in my opinion. What he can do is take advantage of the mistakes that Lewis makes, however small 100. or big they may be. Wins today for Coltsov against Steve West, Jose Hosticia, Kevin Burness, Kevin Dutz, Christoph Kachuk, and then Martin Schindler to book his place in his first PDC professional final. At least one Boris is having a good week. 81. Yeah, Crutchmer's had a nightmare. Has one challenge, oh, well, a challenge to a title before Boris Coltsov, also lost in another final. So there is... There have been signs that he could step up. We've seen what winners on the Challenge Tour have gone on to achieve before. But it's the opposite for Adrian Lewis, isn't it? He's trying to rediscover that winning form and that winning feeling. And I have to cast my mind back to his first match here on Friday when he survived match darts against Keane Barry, who was chasing 45. him at the time for a match play spot. How different this weekend could have panned out. A real sliding doors moment for Jackpot. Very much so. Doors sliding 120 to the right. They're almost closed in front of Boris Koltsov, but he will return to slam it shut. 134. Under a little bit more pressure this time, though. It's not the best double on the board for Adrian, unless he hits the first time, of course. We're starting to find a pattern in this final. Holds of throw all of a sudden are... 40. Predictable things, but maybe Lewis is ready at the middle portion of this game to start putting his foot to the floor, and Koltsov has got to be wary of starting legs with only 40 points. Lewis. 134. He's beaten Clayton and Aspinall in the last couple of matches. It has been a day where the draw has opened up, and it has helped the likes of Boris Koltsov, but for Adrian Lewis... 81. Playing Clayton in the quarterfinals and Aspinall in the semifinals, that's two impressive victories, and he had to average almost 100 in each of them to get through, having done exactly that average more than 100 against Pete Burgoyne in the last 16. He's made his own luck, you could say. He was excellent against Aspinall in that semi-final. 60. I mentioned the match starts that he survived against uh, Keen Barry yesterday. He also survived match starts in his first match today against Sean Wilkinson. 80. So there has been a little bit of luck involved for Lewis, but as you said, he's made the most of his luck and in doing that has given himself more opportunities. If you get the rub of the green, you've still got to be there to, to make the most of it. Correct. He's against the darts here in leg six and he is very much in control. 138. More than good enough. In the middle portion of his semi-final, he was brilliant at the finishing. He started a bit sketchily, going around the board, 82. searching for some accuracy, but... When he found it, he was exemplary. And he's going back to tops, which is exactly what he did in that semi-final. 42. Well, he 
There's a 140 check out to win the semi final by Boris Koltsov. The 145 will not be taken out. 87. Lewis returning for double five. You know all about emitting this, Paul. Game shot. Thanks. I've had some pretty good double fives in my career, but I think maybe Adrian's favourite double five was hitting that double in the 2012 World Cup final. Ten years ago now that, and ten years ago is when Adrian Lewis was 100. at the top of his game. World champion twice in that era. Has won majors since. UK Open and European Championship. But how he would dearly love to get back in the major winning pool in 2022. Can you imagine the scenes if he was to win at the Winter Gardens or potentially get a third world title? He beat Barney in his last PDC victory, didn't he? Raymond van Barneveld in the final of one of these players' championship events, which was early in 2019. And it, it was kind of a run for both players out of nowhere. Uh, before that, he'd been on a, a losing streak in finals of five matches. But 93. It's been, you know, only second final in the last three years for Adrian Lewis. It really has been a dry spell for a man 85. who has won so many titles. He had a couple of semis this year. He's been picking up decent amounts of prize money, that's for sure. He's also made one last 16 on the European tour in the Czech Republic where he had that little tete-a-tete -tete with Gerwin Price, but ultimately lost out to Vincent van der Voort in that tournament. 77. He hasn't lost this leg yet. He could create a three-leg gap if he finds his route to 115. That makes things a little bit easier. Uh, yes. 58 left. Taking his time. Making Boris wait. And anxiously he will look on. 75. And he will be relieved. Double six. You can't do 18. that. Not in this final. He's going to make you pay. Well, that double was a big part of his problem and Martin Chinder's problem, in fact, in that semi final. We ended up Game on shot. double three or double two or double one in most of the legs really but Adrian Lewis on tops takes the seventh leg and is well and truly on top 140 you can't say that Kolsov hasn't had chances so far based on the amount of chances they've had maybe the okay. fairest result so far would be 4-3 but this game ain't fair well Lewis has three more legs but has only had two more darts at double 140 and he is playing very well. Make no mistake about that, Adrian Lewis, in this final. An average before this visit of 45. over 105. We do have one more tournament tomorrow, of course, before the match play cutoff. And everybody's going to know what they have to do. There are not many people who can say that they're in the 16 qualifiers, but are safe. In fact, there are 96. four players who are on the chopping block tomorrow, but somebody's going to have to do something. A bit like what Boris has done today. Double 10. 31. More misses, but he can afford these ones. Yeah, there are plenty of players confirmed in the match play. There are also plenty of players confirmed out of the match play as well. We won't see the aforementioned Raymond Van Barneveld. We won't see Ian White. We won't see Rock in Blackpool. Josh Rock won't make it to the Winter Gardens. Can Coltsov make this? Yes, he can. And despite the big hit from Adrian Lewis, Coltsov brushes off the pressure, taps his head, and he still thinks he can get his way back into this final. Not happy with his performance, but it is a an awful lot better than the semi-final was at this stage. Trust me on that, that if you didn't see it. I think if you'd offered Adrian Lewis a 5-3 lead... He would have had your arm off. 140. But I think if you offered Adrian Lewis, uh, and again, it makes the point about averages not being the key metric, because if you offered Adrian Lewis 105 average at this stage, I think he would have thought the lead would be bigger than two legs. I completely agree with you, Murph. Fair play to Koltsov for the fact that he's only two behind. But we know 100. that there are gears to find, and 
There will be nerves from Koltsov. This is his first PDC big final at this level. But even for Lewis, with all of his 20 years of experience, he'll still feel a little bit jittery in the jelly belly department. He'll still think, I haven't won in a while. I want to get it done. I'm a human being. 60. And we know how talented Adrian Lewis is. So this may be ominous for others. They say you never lose it, Paul. Now Adrian Lewis has certainly lost his way over the last few years, but if he can find it again, then the upper reaches of world darts Sam. will be a better place for it. Some people do lose it, but you can't bet against a two-time world champion. Game shot. And Boris Koltsov has got to put his foot down now. He's now three behind, and Lewis only needs two more legs for a first win in a long time and very, very One well up. done for Adrian Lewis, bringing a towel to the table because this place has been warm all week long. And for someone who is not 58. the skinniest, I think Adrian is someone who can handle the heat better than anybody. Because if you think about some of the atmospheres he's played his best stuff in, Ali Pali finals, match players, grand slams, he has played at a ridiculous level, no matter what the heat. Well, it's always hot at the Winter Gardens, isn't it? And he's produced 60. some incredible performances there, being involved in some marvellous matches, despite not actually taking that title. Something that Phil Taylor said to Dan Dawson in a recent PDC segment on YouTube. <coughs> you have to be darts fit. You might not call dart players athletes, but these guys are immensely darts fit. And they don't come much more darts fit than Adrian Lewis these days. He's putting in a lot of hours. Yeah, do check out the PDC YouTube channel. Plenty of great content and highlights from all of these 65. players' championship events. If you miss any of the action, that's the place to watch it. If you want to reminisce, if you're a big Boris fan or an admirer of Adrian, then you can relive 85. today's action later on this evening. Or will this be a highlight? For the real... Game. Oh, Koltsov with an enormous finish. And he's just keeping himself in contention, isn't he? Just frustrating and annoying Adrian Lewis. He's just not going away. Well, as long as Adrian's got that two-leg cushion, if he continues to keep it, Koltsov can do nothing. He's going to get to the stage where he needs perfection all the time. And we know this game is not about that. Is it time for Adrian Lewis to pick up his 96. first title in more than three years? Or will Koltsov crush Jackpot's return to the winner's circle? 55. There would also be more money towards solidifying other spots like Grand Prix. It would put him in the reckoning for a Grand Slam spot, potentially. Lewis is a player who's been as high as second in the world. I don't think that there is a, a similar slide that's been arrested but uh, Simon Whitlock comes to mind as being as high as fourth and fifth in the rankings 59. and fallen out of the top 16 and Lewis was in danger of dropping out of the top 32 completely and been seen in no TV events for a while tops for 7-4 can't find it but will return even when he's missing that tops bed now it's in the right spot 180 <laughs> Boris, with that little wave of the finger. I don't think you're going to see much more of this leg, Boris. Game shot. I was right. It's 7-4, and Adrian's only one leg away from that desired victory. Well, Lewis has kept hitting and hitting and hitting, and in the end, Boris Easy might one. be worn down. A fantastic day for him, but it could well be joy for Jackpot in a couple of minutes' time. The writing could be on the wall for Boris. 140. He won't go away quietly. But you're right, it has been held to throw, hasn't it, for a while. And even if 60. Lewis can't win this leg, then the next one, he'll have his eyes on the prize. If Adrian does win this title... 
60. Speaking to Dan Dawson is going to be really interesting to get his thoughts. Likewise, if Koltsov was to somehow find four straight legs. 139. I think Koltsov has acquitted himself brilliantly in this final. 100. He's given us a little glimpse as to what he can do. Arguably, his best display of the day is going to end in a defeat. Eighty-five. To stay in it, to get the first of four that he needs, that won't help. So it's match point, Lewis. Seventy-eight. It has been a long title drought for a two-time world champion. But Adrian Lewis gets a dart at tops. Seventy-seven. And it is just over the top once again. To keep it going. 26. The only reason it's still going is because of that miss. And it's Lewis. A double top again. Game and this and time, match. it's Jackpot Joy. For Adrian Lewis. He's finally got over the line for the first time in over three years.